Genesis, chapter 30. And when Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister, and she said to Jacob, Give me children, or else I die. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel, and he said, Am I in the place of God, who has withheld from you the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold, my maid Billa, go into her, that she may bear upon my knees, and thus I also may obtain children by her. And she gave him Billa her handmaid to wife, and Jacob went into her. And Billa conceived, and bore Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God has judged me, and has also heard my voice, and has given me a son, therefore called she his name Dan. And Billa Rachel's handmaid conceived again, and bore Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With wrestlings of God have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had left off bearing, she took Zilpah her handmaid, and gave her to Jacob to wife. And Zilpah Leah's handmaid bore Jacob a son. And Leah said, Fortunate. And she called his name Gad. And Zilpah Leah's handmaid bore Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I. For the daughters will call me happy, and she called his name Asher. And Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest, and found mandrakes in the field, and brought them to his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, Give me, I pray you, some of your son's mandrakes. And she said to her, Is it a small matter that you have taken away my husband? And would you take away my son's mandrakes also? And Rachel said, Then he shall lie with you tonight for your son's mandrakes. And Jacob came from the field in the evening, and Leah went out to meet him, and said, You must come into me, for I have surely hired you with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night. And God hearkened to Leah, and she conceived, and bore Jacob a fifth son. And Leah said, God has given me my wages, because I gave my handmaid to my husband, and she called his name Issachar. And Leah conceived again, and bore a sixth son to Jacob. And Leah said, God has endowed me with a good dowry, now will my husband dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons, and she called his name Zebulun. And afterwards she bore a daughter, and called her name Dinah. And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb. And she conceived, and bore a son, and said, God has taken away my reproach, and she called his name Joseph, saying, Yahweh add to me another son. And it came to pass, when Rachel had borne Joseph, that Jacob said to Laban, Send me away, that I may go to my own place, and to my country. Give me my wives and my children for whom I have served you, and let me go, for you know my service with which I have served you. And Laban said to him, If now I have found favor in your eyes, tarry. For I have divined that Yahweh has blessed me for your sake. And he said, Name me your wages, and I will give it. And he said to him, You know how I have served you, and how your cattle have fared with me. For it was little which you had before I came, and it has increased into a multitude, and Yahweh has blessed you wherever I turned, and now when shall I provide for my own house also? And he said, What shall I give you? And Jacob said, You shall not give me anything, if you will do this thing for me, I will again feed your flock and keep it. I will pass through all your flock today, removing from there every speckled and spotted one, and every black one among the sheep, and the spotted and speckled among the goats, and of such shall be my wages. So shall my righteousness answer for me hereafter, when you shall come concerning my pay that is before you, every one that is not speckled and spotted among the goats, and black among the sheep, that if found with me, shall be considered stolen. And Laban said, Behold, I would it might be according to your word. And he removed that day the he-goats that were ring-streaked and spotted, and all the she-goats that were speckled and spotted, every one that had white in it, and all the black ones among the sheep, and gave them into the hand of his sons. And he set three days' journey between himself and Jacob, and Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flocks. And Jacob took him rods of fresh poplar, and of the almond and of the plane tree. And he peeled white streaks in them, and made the white appear which was in the rods. And he set the rods which he had peeled over against the flocks in the gutters in the watering troughs where the flocks came to drink, and they conceived when they came to drink. And the flocks conceived before the rods, 
and the flocks brought forth ring-streaked, speckled, and spotted. And Jacob separated the lambs, and set the faces of the flocks toward the ring-streaked and all the black in the flock of Laban, and he put his own droves apart, and put them not to Laban's flock. And it came to pass, whenever the stronger of the flock did conceive, that Jacob laid the rods before the eyes of the flock in the gutters, that they might conceive among the rods. But when the flock were feeble, he put them not in, so the feebler were Laban's, and the stronger Jacob's. And the man increased exceedingly, and had large flocks, and made servants and men servants, and camels and asses, 